Well, 1800 on the field and away they go. Kotchka jumped a little bit awkwardly but is well placed near the rail shortly after the start. Bold inspiration, the first to go. Helderberg Blue is well positioned. It is written as on the outside. They are followed by the hangman that's got the red cap and dynastic powers going around them with the green cap to be among the leading division. They are followed further back by Gold Onyx. Gold Onyx races about six lengths off them. Kochka's near the rail. The yellow cap of White Line Fever's about seven lengths off the leader at this stage. Then comes Dynamic. Further back is Punta Arenas and then comes Athena. She's about 10 or 11 lengths off the leader. Then Wild One and Be With Me, the Greys, about 12, 13 lengths off the lead. Bold Inspiration, the red cap, the leader. Dynastic Power is second with the green cap. At the rail in third is Helderberg Blue, then it is written fourth, red sleeves and cap. Gold Onyx is at the panel, fifth, and then the red cap of the hangman. Kochka's got about seven lengths to track down. White Line Fever, the yellow cap, eight lengths to go with Dynamic Punta Arenas. Then comes Athena, and further back in the running is Wild One and Be With Me. Cup Trial Field turns into the home stretch. Bold Inspiration, the leader, Helderberg Blue, Dynastic Power. Gold Onyx, it is written as on the outside. They are followed by the Hangman. Towards the inside, Kochka's trying to put in a claim. Bold Inspiration, the leader, still Helderberg Blue, trying to throw out the challenge. Kochka is starting to warm up now, and Punta Arenas on the outside. Dynamic runs on. Anybody's race, Punta Arenas, Dynamic, Kochka, Wild One. But Punta Arenas swoops into the lead to win it. Wild One second, Dynamic third, Elder Blue, uh, Berg Blue ran fourth. Well, what a win from Punta Arenas and Ian Sturgeon overcoming the wide draw, the six-year-old son of Silvano. He's had a few cracks at the Vodacom Durban July. It looks as though he could get another crack at it again. And of course, at the end of the season or in the next couple of months, Stan is going to be handing in his trainer's license and the man still turns him out. Well done, Stan Ellie, Punta Arenas, wild one, a cracking run in second. Dynamic, also a good run. Helderberg Blue, Kochka, it is written. Bold inspiration. Then the hangman. As we continue to run it, but Punta Arena says victorious in the cup trial. This was at the business end. Be with me further back. White line fever and gold onyx. Then dynastic power. And Punta Arenas came towards the outside. Anybody could win it at the 200. But under Ian Sturgeon, he picked it up really well for main chance farms. So the extreme right-hand side, here's Punta Arenas, the Silvano. The light blue sleeves and cap, owned by Fullard Drew and Watson Smith. And Ian Sturgeon sets him alight. There were five or six across the track. Kochter looked in a winning position. He just didn't go on with it the last 100 meters. But it's Punta Arenas, who is victorious in the running of the Cup trial of course the cup trial uh, grade three brought to you by halfway to over the 1800 just looking at it from there you'll see Ian Sturgeon looks over his right shoulder with the cheek pieces wild one a very good run dynamic Helderberg blue the winner on the tote shows up at nine rand fifty and two eighty a place tote favorite number six Kochka Welcome back for the presentation of race nine, the cup trial, grade three, 250,000 Rand, brought to you by a halfway Toyota and a dynamite finish. We have just witnessed Punta Arenas, one of those old soldiers. He really deserved this victory. Yeah, Sheldon, he's got a hell of a turn of speed um, and he deserves his place now in the July. He's, uh, he's put this field to bed quite easily and uh, hopefully we can do the same on July day. You got a good feel for him last time out. He was a tad unlucky from a very deep draw. Yeah, he was drawn wide and I was last of all with MJ and, you know, he finished second and third. They went, you know, so it, he was a little bit unlucky and I think he's coming on from, you know, that run as well. It was his first run back from the Met and uh, he's just getting stronger and better and his behaviour is touch wood. has been awesome. So hopefully that continues and, and we've got a really nice horse. How many Julys have you ridden in? I don't know how many I've ridden in. I've run second and I've, I've had a couple of places, but um, my closest was on Sushi Sand when I ran second behind Eye of the Tiger. Hopefully we can go one better. So the next three to four weeks, you're going to be up early in the morning with that spring in your step. That's right, Sheldon. You know, obviously I'm based in Joburg, but um, 
maybe I need to try and get suspended a little bit, try and spend a bit more time in, uh, in Durban working him. Thank you very much to Mr. Ellie for giving me the ride and of course to Mr. Dreyer who I think got me the ride. Um, uh, thank you very much to him. I've, I've ridden a lot of uh, winners for Mr. Dreyer and he helped me when I was a kid and it's awesome to, to try and give back. There's your winning memento from Chris de Klerk. Thanks very much to Ian Sturgeon. Some good feedback about Punta Arenas. Let's get Johnson quickly. The groom's got to run. There's a winning prize for Johnson. Well done to Johnson. He looks after Punta Arenas. Let's hear it for Johnson, the man behind the scenes. Then Stan Ely. Now, a very emotional victory this. He's been a soldier. He's placed in the big races. And I think this was his deserved win today. Yeah, yeah, I think you're spot on. You know, I said to them the first thing, just as he went past the bus, didn't he deserve that, you know? And as you say, he's been such a soldier. Great runs, often from shocking draws, you know, in the July Met and whatever the else. And, and, and no, he really was overdue another win. And, you know, when the boys came up yesterday, I did say to them that I don't think I've ever seen this horse look better. You know, being a Silvano, you expect him to mature a little bit later than the others, but it, it's, it's almost like he's grown since last year and he's just more more relaxed, he's more solid, uh, he's looking terrific, you know, so it all goes well. This is what dreams are made of, having runners in the big races, so the next three to four weeks, we should see him in the Vodacom Durban July, all the best. I don't think I can leave him out now, Sheldon, thanks very much. Huh? Thanks very much to Stan Ely, let's get the winning connections, first there's your winning memento, of course Stan Ely doing all the hard work behind the scenes there. Coming to the course today, you've got a horse who's been there, he's done that, he's got the placings, he was going to be the horse to beat. Well, we were, we were quite confident. We went up to, he's been up at the, at the dryer's yard and thanks to them, um, and we saw him and he looked absolutely wonderful. And we thought, well, yeah, he, he may be the horse to beat. Emotional moments there and that last 150, writing was on the wall. Yeah, Sheldon, he, re he really won well and we, we, we really honoured and... The lovely thing for Stan, um, you know, as you know, he's giving up and that. This is our, in James and my colours, this is our 150th winner for Stan. And it was a hell of a day to have it. And I'd just like to say to Dennis and his yard, thanks for all the help and everything. Uh, we well done. Right to win. <laughs> There's your winning memento. Well done to the winning connections. Messrs. Fuller, Drew and Watson Smith. Number four, Punta Rinas, the son of Silvano. He's come big this afternoon and he's won a super race. We're going to hand you back to the studio for the time being. Punta Rinas, that's the call from the winner's area.